What's going on, family? It's your brother Robert here for another daily devotional. So today we're going to be coming from Judges chapter 6, looking at verses 14 through 16 from the topic, Following God. Again, the verses are 14 through 16 from the New Living Translation, and they read like this. Then the Lord turned to him and said, Go with the strength you have and rescue Israel from the Midianites. I am sending you. But Lord... Gideon replied, how can I rescue Israel? My clan is the weakest in the whole tribe of Manasseh, and I am the least in my entire family. The Lord said to him, I will be with you, and you will destroy the Midianites as if you are fighting against one man. And you will destroy the Midianites as if you are fighting against one man. So God has told Gideon to go to assemble an army, and to fight the Midianites that have been oppressing the people of Israel. And Gideon again questions God, and God gives him a little bit more explanation. He tells him, he tells him that I am going with you, that I will fight, that, and you will fight against them as if you're fighting against one man, because I am going with you. All you must do, Gideon, is follow me. It reminds me of ants. Has anybody ever seen uh, or seen uh, or had an ant infestation, whether it be in your house or maybe you've seen like some ants um, out on the sidewalk or on the street? And if you see ants and, and you see a lot of ants, normally you see them probably walking around in a straight line. You'll see one ant after another following a straight path from the hive or wherever their, their, their nest is to more than likely a piece of food. And each one of those ants follows the previous ant what I've heard is that they leave a trail and they just sniff the trail. They go and get the food that they get. They put on their backs and they carry it back to the to the mother ant or the queen ant or who's ever in charge to give themselves a stockpile of food. They don't think. They don't question. They just follow the trail that has been laid for them. And brothers and sisters, when God gives us a word, when he gives us a command, when he gives us something, he is asking us to follow him. There's nothing wrong with questioning, as I said in the previous devotional, but we must at some point in, in time decide to obey and follow God. That's all he wants from us is our faithful obedience. He says, you will seek me and you will find me when you seek me with all your heart or when you follow me with all your heart. So the question I want to throw at you for today is, where is God calling you to follow him? Where is the Lord calling you to follow him, to follow him more closely, to follow him more obediently, to follow him more faithfully? Where is he calling you to follow him? Ultimately, Gideon did follow the Lord. It was a lot of going back and forth and a lot of questioning, but ultimately he followed the Lord and he had a great victory over the Midianites. And God can give you the victory too when you decide to follow him. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for Gideon, because Gideon is just like each one of us. We hear something from you, you speak to us, you reveal your truth to us, and we say we can't do it. We're not strong enough. We're too weak. When all you're asking us to do is follow you, we're not. you're not asking for our strength. You're not asking for our power, but you're asking for faithful following. Help us to be the faithful followers that follow after you, Lord. We love you, we praise you, and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. So thank you for studying with me. Come back for one more devotional in Judges chapter 6. God bless you.